Welcome to another training session of the TIA portal. In today's session, we will see how we can use functions in the TIA portal. Let's imagine we have four pumps. The most simple way to write a program for these pumps is by making simple hold on logic for the individual pump. As the number of pumps increases, we have to write the same logic to start the pump motor again and again. To solve this problem, we will use functions in the TIA portal. We will make the logic to start and stop the motor in the function one time only. And we can use the same function in the program as many times we want. Before going further into this tutorial, I would request you guys to please subscribe my channel. To add new function, double click on the add new block. Click on the function and press the OK button. Next, we have to add the tags for this function. We will add start, stop, and motor overload bits in the input section. In the output section, we will add a motor contactor bit to turn on the contactor. In the in out section, we will create a motor start bit. We can read and write the in out bits. Next, we will create a simple hold on logic to start and stop the motor using these bits which we have just created. We will close this function and go back to the OB1, drag and drop the function number one on the network and you can see that the function block is created with the inputs and outputs to start and stop the motors. We will drag and drop four instances of this function to control four motor. Next, all we need is to insert the addresses of the start, stop buttons and motor overload at the input side of this function and output address of the motor contactor at the output of this function. We will insert the addresses for the all four functions. Now the programming is done. We will upload this program in the PLC and monitor the ladder logic. If we press the start push button for the motor number one, you can see that the motor number one turns on. You can see that the logic which we made inside the function is working properly. If we press the start push button, the motor turns off. Same way we can turn on and off all of our four motors. So that's the end of the today's session. I hope you like. Do share, like and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for more upcoming videos. Till next time, take care and goodbye.